So yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Movement6, and as a growing habit, I want to say thank you guys for all the subs for the last few weeks. I'm really glad and really appreciate all your support, all the comments, the feedbacks, the thumbs up, the likes, and the reposts. I really like them. Thank you very much. Before we get in the video, I do want to make one small apology, or maybe two. Um, first is the delay in uploading this video. I had a video, but I wasn't really satisfied with the content, and I want to make a bit more balance with how IGN also reviews others, other violent games, which I think is very worth noting here. And on the other side, I had a very urgent private matter to attend to. So uh, please accept my apologies, but I hope you enjoy this uh, this video. What it concerns about is a, and you see it on, on the screen, is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the most divisive game of E3 uh, made by IGN. They had some hands-on, early hands-on with the single player campaign, which is fantastic, great, kudos to you guys. Uh, but what happens in this video is, well, I, I think these guys at IGN just got completely woke, you know, and, and I must say from my perspective, I'm getting a bit sick and tired of all the political correctness, the social justice warrior type of... There is a, a whole generation standing up, um, constantly having issues with, with, with everything concerning from violence or reality or... or I don't know, there is a constant problem with these guys and you've got these people reviewing it, you see here on your screen. And these are generally, I would say, the uh, boys that will never be men. Yeah. You've got these girls who will never be women. Um, and eventually you've got these blokes. And by nature, these are not the type of guys you will... Uh, well, they're not men, they're guys. And if you want to see a complete roast of these guys, I advise you to watch, check out this video. Um, eight thoughts. He completely roasts these people and like he should, I would say. So uh, kudos to him. I just wanted to make a word mention of eight thoughts. Fantastic channel and the way he uh, roasts these people is absolutely spot on. But the problem IGN has with the with the game is the realism of the violence right so let's let's sink that in let let let's sink that in the violence the reality if you don't like realism violence f kudos but go play either mario bros splatoon maybe fortnite at a max uh, mario kart deluxe is a fantastic game um and and you've got all kinds of games that are funny and maybe even zelda is maybe too violent for you, I don't know, but stay away from the God of Wars, the Mortal Kombat's, the Uncharted, the and the Call of Duty for that matter. And I would say to IGN, welcome in 2019, right? It, it's finally that, that the Call of Duty franchise, franchise is now having a new engine. And we're in 2019, we have got systems out there that can produce graphics maybe even near photorealism. So if you're talking about reality and realism and it scares the shit out of you, stop playing games, mate. Nobody's forcing you. But it's 2019. If you take the first Call of Duty, that's not realism. It's, it's still about the Second World War, but come on, it's... If you look at the images, it, it doesn't reflect reality because we were not capable of photorealism, right? So what are we talking about here? Um, if we're looking at um, um, the engine and, and the architecture that's now seven years old on Xbox or whatever we're talking about, PlayStation 4, we're now in a stage that the uh, developers can squeeze out the less drop of performance out of this, out of this machine or on these machines, right? So you've seen Horizon Zero Dawn, The Last of Us, that's going to come up and, and, and so on. So we've got a lot of We've got a lot of capabilities out there to produce realism and thus in violence as well. And suddenly they get woke about the, the up-in-your-face realism of, of, um, of the violence produced by a Call of Duty title. But let's not forget, Modern Warfare was there to provoke maybe a bit. No Russian, we all know Russian. So it... it Call of Duty was a franchise that was in a realistic setting. Call of Duty World War II, it was predominantly set in World War II. It made a short step towards the Cold War, Vietnam, Modern Warfare, no Russian. So it always had that reality setting around Call of Duty. And all of a sudden, it's, oh, it's, it's about a terrorist attack in London. Oh shit, that's pretty real to me indeed. But 
And now all of a sudden the violence is 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 way out of line. Okay, dear Mister, uh, dear 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 funny uh, funny IGN, let's see what you got got here then. You've got a Mortal Kombat review, and I hope you don't mind. I got my screen right over here, so let me read this out for you. When it was first introduced a staggering 27 years ago, Mortal Kombat always had the reputation of being that fighting game where you rip people's head off. Known more for its core and violent violence than its gameplay. Things have changed since Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat 10, bringing the quality of gameplay up to meet the quality of violence. That is an interesting one. The quality of violence. IGN names violence and quality in the same sentence. And we're talking about Mortal Kombat, right? We've got an up in your face fighting game that uses the current day architecture that is able to produce graphics which is so gruesome i i've got more to come here i enjoy it i like it i've got some of my critics around the game and i've made a video on it but if you just look at the core gameplay it, <laughs> that's violence mate and and these guys are giving it a nine out of ten for a game so they as good as it is gory so that if you read the article these guys embrace the violence and this is not violence like like call of duty is going to bring that will going to bring just shooting people right shooting npcs and and that's what they're going to bring that's what they brought out every time and and now you can you can set someone on fire you can rip somebody's intestines out you can take someone's head heart out and let him live long enough to see him beating you can uh, put someone's hat in a chainsaw and that's that's more to come and they love it if you read the article if you read the article here they absolutely enjoy it they enjoy it so why all of a sudden does IGN gets woke and start asking questions about the violence in Call of Duty. I, my sincere advice, guys at IGN, go home, play Splatoon, play Fortnite, go play Zelda, Mario Kart Deluxe. I don't give a shit, but if you can't stand a game like Mortal Kombat, or, uh, like Call of Duty then stop wasting your time being so overly generous in the Mortal Kombat atmosphere and go home. Just just leave journalism in this side to, to people who understand gaming and what it is. Because I, I challenge everybody to watch the interview of IGN. It's horrible to watch. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I also want Call of Duty to uh, succeed right here. Uh, I've made a video that I'm not hyped, and I'm still not hyped. I refuse to get hyped. Um... I want to see some gameplay, I want to see some core mechanics, I want to see more because we've been ripped off in the past by Call of Duty uh, more than once in terms of monetization, DLC, what we got back for Black Ops passes, unfinished games, no leaderboards, recycled maps, that's not what I'm looking for. I want Call of Duty to succeed, finally start some innovation here and maybe after this take a year off, right? Don't, don't, and support that game. Just like Rainbow Six, that's a game that came out four or five years ago, it's still being supported, it's got a play base of 35 million people. That's what you want to reach with a Call of Duty. And that you want to produce a bit more than Rainbow Six, so I get it, that's fine, but not every year. We need to have a solid game, supported in the right way for the community. But again guys, um, <laughs> I do uh, hope you appreciate this video. Um, leave a like leave a comment i'm really keen on understanding what your take is on uh, modern warfare in general i'm really keen to understand what your take is on how ign is handling this uh this well the privilege of um watching the first gameplay for playing the first gameplay what's your take and leave a like leave a comment leave a subscribe put on your notifications and there will be more content on the way as soon as possible thank you very much this was movement six out